Today, a better part of the day has been spent while preparing the grounds at Kaunda for the homecoming of the Justice and Constitutional Affairs Minister, Nobat Mao, in Gulu City. While speaking to the media, Nobat Mao said he had not been actively involved in the affairs affecting this region where he served as a member of parliament for Gulu municipality as well as the district chairperson of the same place. I've been struggling to revive that old party. Since that time, I've tried to be part of the united front of the opposition. Since that time, I've been involved in a lot of politics at the national level. But I think I have neglected the home ground. So the homecoming gives me the opportunity to reconnect with the home ground. Ahead of the homecoming, the Justice and Constitutional Affairs Minister, Nobat Mao, spoke about the successes that have been registered under the Memorandum of Understanding between the NRM and DP. But the biggest success of the MOU is that it has de-escalated tensions. Uganda was becoming a pressure cooker and any time some people were expecting an explosion. The MOU has created a vent that has reduced the pressure because an explosion does not serve anybody. For example, we don't believe in violence and we are very serious with it. And we think that we can, through repetition and simplification, make everybody understand that it is important to transit in Uganda. And that well, we have tested all other avenues, but we think that dialogue now should be, te should be tested. Mao says that issues affecting the region will take center stage rather than partisan politics. My message tomorrow will be about uniting Ugandans. It will be about focusing on development. It will be about unleashing the potential of Acholi land which has more than 16% of Uganda's arable land. Mao also told the media that in the next few months, he expects the constitutional review process to take off. Jumakiria, NTV, here in Gulu City.